Hi, good morning. Today's an exciting day. And I want to thank you for having coffee with me. Today is the eclipse. And thank goodness since I didn't get glasses, they told me that I could look, make a selfie and watch the eclipse through my cell phone. But what I really want to talk about today is old beliefs. When I was in my teens, there was a solar eclipse. And my grandmother, who loved me so much, told me that if you look at this solar eclipse, you go blind. And there was truth in that. But she also told me that if I swallowed my bubble gum, my stomach was going to stick together. And that if I swallowed a, a watermelon pit, that I was going to grow watermelons. Now, unfortunately, when I was younger, I believed everything that my grandmother told me. I believed that my stomach was going to stick together and all these stories that she told me, these old beliefs. Now, that's the, the story is that those old beliefs that we tell ourselves become what we, those old thoughts become what we believe and they filter our world. So it's really important that when you have these old beliefs left over from your childhood, that you have a system, that you're able to imagine that you take that old belief and you file it in old beliefs, like you would file a child's story, and that you allow new beliefs to be the filters that you're using today. Hi, everybody. I know that I'm good at a lot of things, but any time I have to go play a sport or do something competitive like that, I get anxiety. When I was young, we used to play this game called Nukem, where somebody would throw the ball as hard as they could over the net or volleyball. I would try to figure out which was the spot that you would get, take it out, rotate out the most because I was afraid of the ball. Now, that's an old belief, and I've taken lessons in playing tennis and golf, and I'm not going to get hit by the ball. But any time I have to play that, those old, any time I have to play a game, those old beliefs, any time I do anything athletic, those old beliefs come up. So what I want to talk about today is making sure that when you're about to have an exciting day, like today, the eclipse, or whatever is exciting for you, that you don't let old beliefs get in the way of enjoying the moment. So before you start anything or anything exciting is about to happen and you notice those old beliefs coming up, just imagine in your mind that you're following them away in old beliefs. And don't let them be the voice in your head that's going to filter and ruin this experience in this moment. This moment, you never get it back. And it would be so unfortunate, and I've done it for so many years, allowed old beliefs to filter what situation I was in. And they weren't even true. I am not going to have my stomach stick together if I have gum, in, if I swallow my gum by accident. So I think it's really important that when you get those old beliefs, that you just take a minute and say, ah, old belief, I don't believe that anymore. Or if you say something negative about yourself, just say, oh, I don't believe that anymore. I'm going to work now. Have a great day. Enjoy the coffee with me tomorrow. Bye.